Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basics of Star Delta Connection. Okay? So before we start this session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So basically what is Star Connection? So, a star connection is made by connecting together similar finishing end of three coils. The other starting ends of three, coil, three coils are joined to the line wire. It means always we have a, if you talk about three phase system, always we have a three phase wire or we can say in case of motor or alternator, we have a coils. So in a star connection what we have done suppose this is the coil okay so this one is starting phase and this is this one is ending of this coil similarly suppose this is for R phase and this is for Y and this is for B here that three coil so here if we connected all ends of these coils it one point to make it neutral or we can say a star point then this type of connection is called a star connection okay a starting end of coil so this is the starting end of coil and this is the finishing end of coil so finishing end of coil all three coil are joined at one point and a starting end of coil so this is the starting end of coil where we connected phase supply wire R Y B okay so this connection we can call the star connection okay so the common I have already told you the common point is called the neutral or a star point which is represented by N okay so a star connection generally we also called three phase four wire system as we have a uh, three phase okay means R Y then B and one is it can be earth or it can be used as a neutral for the return path okay so this system is also called three phase four wire system okay so here i have already discussed how to form the star connection using three phase coil or winding system so here this is the r okay this is the starting end of this r phase r coil and this is the ending finishing end of this r phase similarly for y so this is the starting and this is the finishing here we have joined togetherly similarly for b okay so in this way we can form the star connection here at the joint form all three coils are joined at one point it's called neutral point so here from here we can take neutral wire so wherever we require four wire system we can connect it in a star connection okay so if we talk about its voltage and current relation in a star connection so voltage between r and y that means line to line voltage okay line to line voltage so it become a means phase to phase voltage it will call line voltage vl generally we have a how much 415 if you measure the voltage between r and y similarly y and b then b and r it will become 415 volt okay so this is the line voltage between two phase r and y then what about phase voltage the voltage between line and neutral is called phase voltage actually this is the phase voltage v phase and this is the line voltage if you talk about this voltage if you measure the voltage here we are providing phase okay then this is the neutral so this one between this phase and this neutral we called it phase voltage okay similarly we can say between two line voltage between two phase like r and y we got line voltage this will call line voltage generally we have 415 and between line voltage line and neutral this one called v phase voltage 
voltage fields where we could hair hair and hair then we got four, 240 okay then relationship between line voltage and phase voltage is so line voltage equal to square root 3 multiplied by with phase voltage so this is the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage if you want to calculate the phase voltage then v phase equal to vl line voltage divided by root 3 in this way we can calculate the phase voltage suppose this is the line voltage where we have a value 415 then square root 3 1.732 if we divide it then it will come 240 volts so this is the phase voltage and vl to 415 is the line voltage okay so this is the relations between line voltage and phase voltage in a star connection so always make sure between these two phase it always called point where we got the voltage it is always called phase voltage now come to current so what about line current and phase current in a star connection suppose this is the phase so here we have a il means this is the line current and in this coil we always call phase current i phase phase okay so in a star connection both are same as you can see over here so both are same so in a star connection line current equal to phase current okay so this we have to keep in our mind during the calculation of current of star connection okay now come to the star connection application so generally it is used in distribution of the power in commercial and industrial consumer so general why it is used in distribution because in distribution we always need neutral wire that's why okay that's why in commercial sector and industrial so generally what we have in transmission line we have a r y b suppose this is the 11 kb it is always in delta connection but in consumer side we need neutral well. that's why we use distribution transformer where in st side we have a delta connection and lt side 415 side what we have to do we have to connect the transformer in a star then we can able to achieve one more line which is neutral line which is required this can be also earth okay so this is neutral earthing we can say so generally it is used in commercial and industrial consumers distribution system then three phase motor power supply so always we notice that this is the most important application for motor connection three phase supply motor connection we always discuss about a star delta connection and a star delta star so this is the basic concept of that star delta connection suppose this is the motor terminal connection okay so there are six terminals okay so this is the motor three phase motor connection terminal always have six terminal so one is u1 we can say then always it is like this one end is over here then another one is it here for one coil then so this is the u2 another coil again v1 so another coil again other end like crisscross in this pattern generally coils are terminated at terminal block of this motor so this is v1 then this is v2 then another third is w1 so in this way this is connected so this is the w2 so in this pattern generally it is connected terminated the coil in motor terminal box then how can we make this in a star connection so generally we have a plates a strip joint a strip with the help of this we can make the star connection or delta connection as per our requirement so so simply what we have to do if we are going to make the motor connection in a star just sort all these one terminal like this is the strip here we have joint and then u2 to v2 so make it in one sort all terminal at one end okay, one side then we can give the r phase over here then b then r y b here we have connected three phase power supply this is the power cable you can say so here we can see un v1 
and w1 where we we given r of y and b power supply phase at one end this is the one end where we connected all these sort with this strip okay so in this way we can connect the star connection in motor terminal box okay so hope you guys understand about this star connection now come to delta connection so delta connection what is delta connection in three phase a uh, power system where all three phases are connected in series to form a closed loop system or triangle is called delta connection this is also called three phase three wire system so this is the three cable suppose this is one coil then from series wise this is another coil then this is so this way we can make a closed loop system or we can make a triangle okay so this is the delta connection where we have only three wire system now come to here so as we have already discussed so this is the one coil then another coil then third one is this one r y b we can say okay now we have to give the power supply so r here we have connected then y over here then b over here so in this pattern we can say this is the delta connection now again let's discuss about line voltage and phase voltage so here we always between these two phase two line r and y we call phase voltage okay again here up to phase this is the phase so between these two terminals it is v phase so as you can see over here at both end of supply we provided phase supply r and y so in this relation what we can observe line voltage equal to phase voltage line voltage equal to phase voltage so if our line voltage is 415 then phase voltage is also 415 so in delta connection the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage is are equal both are equal okay then come to current so what are the relationship between line current and phase current in delta connection so suppose this is the these are the actually il means line current so these are the line current when it travels like this if it reach to this point what happen it will divide to both side so here as you can see phase current means line current and phase current are in not not equal because here it is already distributed towards so in delta connection line current is equal to square root 3 and phase current so the, over here these are the phase current okay if we want to calculate the phase current ip then what we can do il divided by square root 3 so in this way we can calculate the current line current or phase current in the delta connection okay so this is the relationship between line current and phase current in delta connection okay now come to its application delta connection application so here generally it is used in power transmission system so why it is used in power transmission system generally it is required three wire system so in a star connection we have a four wire system generally we don't require neutral in transmission line that's why we only require uh, delta connection so with the help of three wire we can transmit the power so we can save the conductor cost okay in delta connection now again three phase motor power supply so this is the most important so again i have already discussed about so there are six terminals for three phase motor okay internally this is connected like this while that terminated like this motor coil okay now to make the uh, delta connection generally what we have to do with the help of connector tip uh, strips generally we have a for three strips so what we can do just connect like this a straight like u1 w2 u2 v1 then v2 v2 so in this pattern if we connect the con connector strip then it will form as a delta connection then we can supply the we can connect the power cable like r is over here u at v un then v y then b so in this way we can connect the 
motor in delta connection so hope you guys understand about star delta connection so in next video we'll discuss about star delta starter okay so this is the basics of star delta connection okay so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next